Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we have a blast from the past courtesy of our friends at Collection Obsession. Today we are looking at the Tri-Action Toys designed by Tim Clark. Reintroduction of the Boglins. We are looking at King Vlo Vlob, excuse me. Um, and this is uh, part of the relaunch. This is, as you can see, uh, first edition of the Boglins. Um, let's see, this is number, it's certified authentic. This is number 1815 um, version of King Vlob here. Uh, if you recall, going back to the uh, the 1980s, the, the Boglins were a huge hit, part of that whole kind of gross out era of, of toy making. Um, and they are back. And, and and they are indeed back. Um, they come in the signature crate, like you can see here, um, with all the fun details, you know, caution, uh, extremely rare creature. Uh, there's, there's apparently a hidden map inside. Um, so if you didn't know anything about Boglins, there's a really great video from Toy Galaxy. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description below that gives you the whole history of, Bog of Boglins, but it's fascinating. Um, Tim Clark, the designer of Boglins, to make a long story short, uh, he did work with uh, on the Muppets and, and Jim Henson Studios, designed um, characters for Fraggle Rock, designed characters for the Dark Crystal, and, and, and you know, uh, basically went on to make Boglins here, as well as another really uh, famous and kind of oft forgotten toy line, Sectors. Um, but that th this is the, the product of of Tim Clark, and they're back, and they're back in a, in a couple of different varieties. So as you can see on the back here on the cross cell, um, we do have a bunch, uh, so first of all, some really great art, um, and then a, a list of all of the, the Boglins, and then kind of the, the hierarchy of, uh, of, of who's available. So we have King Drool, who is the craziest King Dwark, who likes to joke around, and King Vlob, he's the smartest of the Boglins. Um, and then we, we have uh, King Wart, Swag, uh, Spunk, and uh, Top Horror. And then uh, we have some, some Halloween ones, the, the Blobkin, the Crazy Clown, and the Bogo Bones. So right now, um, the top three are currently available through walmart.com slash collectibles. Again, we'll put a link in the description below. But since this is kind of uh, an interesting, different toy from something that we normally look at, instead of switching over to the light box, we're gonna actually show you the full experience of unboxing um, this, this guy. Uh, because it is something um, a little bit outside of the, the norm. And there is um, some fun play features with this guy that are, I think are better shown with our hands. And to be perfectly honest with you, I am too young to have experienced the Boglins the first time around. I know about them through the culture of toy, but, um, but yeah, I, I missed them the first time around. So this is my first experience with the Boglin um, with my own hands. So we're gonna, we're gonna jump in together and learn how to puppet him because he is indeed a puppet. So uh, I clipped the little plastic here, so we're gonna pull his his trap up and out, which will allow us to free the Boglin from the back here. Oh, there's actually another thing that's holding him in. So let's uh, let's carefully open up this box because I actually want to save the box for display purposes. Um, so it actually shows you to to reassemble. Um, how to put the box back together, which is really neat. Um, this box is your Boglin's home. Keep your Boglin happy. Take care of his home. Your Boglin will like that. Please proceed carefully. So we will. We will indeed proceed carefully, and we, we don't want to wreck. Uh, we don't want to wreck his home here. So let's pull him out. And it looks like. All right. Instructions and a map are falling out. All right. Uh, so let's see here. We have a key on the back of him to, un to unlock him and pull him out. Let's let's see. Let's follow the instructions, shall we? Um, okay. So it looks like it's it's under. So on the inside, what you're gonna do is when you get your Boglin on the inside, you're going to peel him up here, and you, you'll see that there is a uh, a, a nut that's kind of fastening him in the back because I hit myself in the face with the box. 
and you're gonna unscrew that nut from the inside, it appears. Hmm. Please hold. Come a little closer, if you dare. <laughs> we won't bite. Remember us? <laughs> We're back. If you bring us home, we can help you do lots of things. <laughs> we can help you scare your Uncle Giles. <laughs> no, really scare you, Uncle Giles. <laughs> we have movable eyes to glow in the dark. We sure hope you have lots of friends to scare. <laughs> But watch out! They may get even! Ah! <laughs> we really hope you like clowns! <laughs> Buttons are brought to you by Dry Action Toys and are sold separately. Buttons should not be thrown at people. Buttons do not actually come alive, that would be weird. Buttons do not require food or water that should be kept stained by not being played with. Buttons have been known to scare people, and I know the people that may play or feel not easily. Consider yourself warned. Buttons are back! Okay, so as it turns out, I just wasn't pulling on this thing hard enough. So once, once you're inside of the boggle and you'll see kind of a thing like this on the inside of it and you're just gonna pull and you gotta pop pop this off of this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them together so it says to kind of line up the tail piece here um this goes in here like this so you're gonna you're gonna slide this plastic piece into the back of the tail and again i'm following the instructions now there is a qr code on the instructions should you um need some assistance getting this this on but what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide the plastic piece that you pop off the back into the back of the tail first and then lining up the three pegs you're gonna slide the tail in and then flip this guy inside out a little bit and then you're gonna take the cap and you're gonna pop it back on and it does take a little bit of a uh yeah, there we go. All right, so it's back on. All right, so, so this is already cool. All right, so it tells you now, <laughs> as you can see, there's, all right, so let me see if I can, it's kind of tough to flip it inside out, but you can see on the inside, there are, there we go. All right, so you can see that there are controls for his eyes. Um, and it looks like they're kind of individual, so I'm trying to see, yeah. So you can control one eye at a time. All right, so there's a, there's a, sw a switch in the middle, and the switch in the middle, <laughs> as I make them cross-eyed, the switch in the middle just makes them go back and forth. Um, and then you, it looks like you can control individual eyes with a little bit more um yeah, move lever up and down to make eyes move back and forth there we go all right move lever move lever above each eye up and down to make wink oh, okay i got it. i got it i got it i got it all right all right all right we're getting this. We're getting there. All right. So you have you have a lever up and down. So you know that moving it up and down. You're kind of gonna do this with your hand on the inside, or this. Yes, this. So these two fingers are going to have access to the levers that make the boggling blink. So you know one eye and the other eye. This one here is going to. Um, make the the eyes move back and forth so your your middle finger and then your thumb is going to control the mouth so just moving your thumb up and down is what's going to move the mouth so i'm just moving my thumb there and then i'm moving my middle finger up and down and that's moving the eyes back and forth and then you move these levers <laughs> you need some dexterity to do this man this is not easy um these levers 
when you push them up or down. So you see how it, it raises and lowers his, uh, his brow there? And you can kind of feel in there where the grooves for your fingers go. Like, it makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but it makes sense when your finger's in there. So let me see. All right, so, so ready? We're going to try this. Eyes back and forth. Eyes back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyes back and forth. Okay. And then we're going to wink. Hey. And then we're going to wink the other side. Hey. <laughs> um, all right. So let's let's talk a little bit more about the, the kind of paint and detail here of, of our Bogland. So um, the paint on this one is really cool. The, the eyes are especially um, really well detailed. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. There are gold paint hits um on on king uh i already forgot his name on king vlob here um so his horns are gold his tongue is gold he has two white teeth there in the middle um his entire body is this really satisfying soft silicone -y kind of plastic um so his mouth has a nice like tackiness to it honestly the whole thing is kind of has this nice like Kind of tackiness to it. I can't. I, I can't think of any other any other way to to word it. Um, the scales and bumps and molds and little um, you know bits of, of the, the little nooks and crannies. It's really really incredibly molded um, and, and detailed in that way. It feels very vintagey. Um, you know, it, when you're when you have it in hand, this it feels like you have something that is uh, that is retro, that is old. It gives you that that uh, that feeling pretty pretty straightforward um i need to work on my puppeteering skills um i would not pass in the the, the jim henson um <laughs> school of puppeteering but in all fairness this is the first hand puppet that has function like this that i've ever used so um you know the to, to, to quote my, my boy uh, doug funny from back in the day the joy don't the dusk at all see i'm throwing my voice King Hawk. Ah. <laughs> um, I, I won't quit my day job, guys. Um, but yeah, you can get this right now uh, on, um, at least at the recording of, of the, the time of the recording of this video, you can get this at the link in the description below, along with some other Boglins um, from Walmart. Uh, through our friends collection obsession, through the, the, the portal, the, uh, the walmart.com slash collectibles portal but uh, again we will include a link in the description below these are super <laughs> super weird fun cool toys um you know again something really different for your collection especially if you are somebody who is after kind of the nostalgic type of thing um you know i, I really feel like you can't go can't go wrong here like always hit that subscribe button down there da down there wherever there is <clears throat> to make sure you don't miss out on videos like this. While you're down there, hit that bell icon for notifications. While you're liking and subscribing to things, make sure you follow Adventures in Collecting on Instagram and Twitter at AIC underscore podcast. For the latest toy news, toy photography, and all other kinds of things within the toy community, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the podcast. This thing over here, the podcast, yeah, that thing. Listen to it every Monday. Subscribe to it, or I'm coming to get you in your dreams. My accent keeps changing as I'm doing this, and I don't care. Until next time. <laughs>